Youth Owner here with South Pasadena star Abigail Arrington. 76 Mount Sac Invitational presented by Nike. 1657 is now the standard for everybody on the new three mile course here at uh, Mount Sac. Abigail, you showed so much patience and just so much trust in your training and your approach. Can you kind of just like share with me in, in, in words like just what that required of you in the first mile when Kiara went out so hard? Honestly, the first mile was just business as usual. I didn't have a win on my mind. I know that's not good to admit, but I was, I knew Kiara was going to absolutely go for it and my plan was just stick back. And then as the race progressed, I was like, wait, I can actually see her, which has never happened before. So I saw her and I was like, you know what, like, let's go in the paint cave, let's see if we can get her. And I don't know, slowly but surely it started to fade off and it just, I'm just pumped, I'm excited. I know it's, it's you know, the same for both of you, but like, did, did you notice a significant change in, in how you felt with with, with no poop out and just you know the fact that it was reservoir in the airstrip. Oh yeah, that felt like a two mile race, a hundred percent. That didn't. I mean, I'm a little bummed to see the old course go, but I guess it worked in my favor. But no, it was. It felt so much shorter. Like poop out like makes this course. So like really, it was. It was it felt like Clovis almost. Yeah. Speaking of like obviously. Just where, where you're at, uh, you know that you're going to be back here multiple times, but obviously end game on November 30th. I mean, you've done so many amazing things, but just to be able to have a performance like this in late October, like just how, how much does that excite you and inspire you for the next month? I'm really, really excited. Uh, this is the first, the break, oh no, this is the first, I think, sweepstakes race I've ever won. And like, I don't know, it just feels good, but honestly, one race doesn't really define you. So I'm still kind of the same runner I was, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, it's working, and yeah, it's just great. I've been taking care of myself, sleeping a lot, and yeah. Is it unique at the, at the fact that you know, we're having a conversation about you now in Division Three? Because once upon a time, those first three women across the line were all, you know, setting the standard as high as ever in Division Four. Like, is, is it, you know, I mean, obviously there's still going to be amazing athletes in, in, in Division Three, but like, is it is it unique for you that you're no longer, I mean, you're always with Maya and League, but that you're not part of that group anymore? Yeah, it's going to be strange. It's definitely going to be an adjustment. So many new names, so many new teams, but, you know, same goals as always, so we just have to sort of... Uh, Take them as they come right now, yeah. And then last thing for the team, right? Obviously, the one great thing about being in this race is to see Cathedral Catholic, you know, and know what that could look like for yeah. you in the group uh, later on. Like, how valuable is it for the entire South Pasadena team to be in a race with them, but also to be in a race on this course so everybody can help visualize better what that's going to look like in November? Oh, it's, it's like, it's so important to us. Like, we go into workouts. I think it's great to have, like, Going on the line in finals and we're trying to, or state, and knowing we've raced these girls before, it's just, it's a really like valuable information to have. And so to be able to come out here and race these girls and see what they do and see what their strategies are, like I feel like we're just gonna go to the drawing board and figure it out, figure out what works. Well, you certainly figured out the puzzle today. 1657, absolutely brilliant performance in the girls team sweepstakes. Congratulations. Thank you so much.